So we have to work in overdrive for everything. A lot of us may feel guilty for even taking a day off because if we take that day off, something isn't going to get paid or something is going to be like put at risk simply because we want to rest. Hi, <laughs> what's up? My name is Sam. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let me just cut it to you real quick. This is not a video where there will be a ton of editing. There won't be a ton of like in and outs. I just want to talk because I feel like one of the major things that we lack as humans um, is deep connection. Deep connection to other human beings. Deep connection to just our lives, nature, the things that really matter because we are so caught up in society and just trying to stay above water. A lot of us are trying to stay afloat right now. We're trying to like literally stay afloat financially, trying to make sure we have food to eat. The bills are paid, okay? Having to choose between which bills to pay because there just isn't enough for everything. And I don't know if it's um, the algorithm or if it's just what God has really been just telling me to talk about, but I've been seeing a lot of videos and it's making me very emotional because I really, really, really am passionate about just helping people and just making sure like that, hey, if I can make a difference in this world, I want to do that. You feel what I'm saying? But I really want to just be very, very honest and tell everyone that is looking at me right now that, hey, I know it's really hard, especially right now. I was in the store yesterday. Y'all, I got to tell you this. And a family size box of cereal was $6.29. What on God's green earth is cereal doing? six dollars ain't even the doggone bulk size you get from like costco or sam's club or bj's it's just one of these small boxes that isn't even enough to feed a family a family who two okay you get what four to six servings of cereal in a family size or a giant size box and it's just like geez louise like what is life like i don't even know words to say honestly about this but it just seems as though struggling is just such a norm and it shouldn't be like yes we have to put in work we have to do what we need to do to make sure that we aren't being lazy and we aren't um forgetting that hey if you want something in this life you have to work hard at it i'm not saying that isn't the case what i'm saying is why does it feel as though we have to work in overdrive for everything okay a lot of us may feel guilty for even taking a day off because if we take that day off, something isn't going to get paid or something is going to be like put at risk simply because we want to rest. And it shouldn't be like that. Okay, so yeah, I just want to talk about it. Like things are just super expensive. People are literally mentally unstable. And I've been watching a ton of like um, podcast videos. I've been really, really like learning deeper connection to humans. And I feel as though that is what I really, 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 really enjoy the most. I really enjoy just conversations and talking and really asking the questions that need to be asked, looking for the answers through other humans. I know the podcast like era is in full effect right now and I'm just saying it like this, a lot of the podcasts that we have now, it promotes a lot of drama. Like I'm not saying that all podcasts are like that, but there are so many where all the topics are just like so sexual and just like all up in somebody's business. <laughs> You know what I mean? And it's just like, come on, can we really talk about the things that need to be talked about? I don't care about what's going on in somebody's bedroom, okay? Who you sleep with don't do nothing for me. You feel what I'm saying? But what can help me, I'm gonna just say this, is inspiration, it's motivation, it's 
hey, I see that that person is going through something that I'm going through and this is how they made it through. Maybe I can use some of those tools, those resources to make it through as well. And then I can go ahead and transfer that energy to someone else. And we are all motivating and inspiring and uplifted to help each other out. Okay. Opposed to just finding out some more gossip. And I don't know if any of you know this, but I used to go to church all of the time. And when I used to go to church, um, I used to listen. Okay. And when things would hit me, they would stick. And one time the pastor was talking about towel bearers. I think that's how you say it, towel bearers. And that's basically um, individuals who love to gossip. And I was just like, I never want to be a towel bearer. Like I love jokes, I love laughing, healthy like type stuff, you know what I mean? Not putting other people down or making them feel less than. Um, or offending anyone intentionally, but towel bearing. It seems like a lot of the podcasts are full of towel bearers. Again, there are a ton of cool podcasts out there, informative, educational, uplifting. One of them I came across was The Diary of a CEO, okay? And I was watching the interview of Simon Sinek, I think that's how you say his name. Um, he was just basically talking about feeling emotions and realizing that we are all in this human experience and every emotion is valid so you are okay if you feel moments of sadness if you feel moments of anger that means you are just a human being going through human emotions and something that stuck with me from that podcast as well is him saying that instead of calling it um mental health let's call it mental fitness okay and mental fitness is basically like hey feeling all those emotions realizing that just because you may be feeling down and sad and lonely it doesn't mean that you are like in a crisis basically i don't want to get too deep into it because that was that person's interview but i really like mental fitness okay because it's like going to the gym like uh he said it's like going to the gym you go in the gym you work out but some days you don't feel like working out okay some days you just push through it and just get it over with some days you just like bump it i'm not going in it's similar to the human experience some days you just don't feel like it and that's okay to not always feel like it so yeah i just want to get on here and talk about just like a little bit of life and how stuff is just like unfair you feel what i'm saying i just don't think we should be going through as much pain to just make it okay to to just make ends meet and for us to do all the things that they said we should do the dream and it's a bunch of it's a bunch of hard shit you feel what i'm saying how the hell i here? i lost my train of thought sorry but um what i was saying is uh oh we did everything they said we should do and we get to this point now and I know it's inflation I know all this stuff that's going on and it's just like isn't the world filled with abundance you feel what I'm saying don't we have everything that we need so why do we have to charge so much for everything when it seems as though all of this stuff is gonna be here regardless if it's two dollars or if it's seven dollars like all of the TikToks I've been seeing all of the like just Instagram reels of just people venting because they are struggling, okay? And I am super grateful for where I'm at in life and not wanting or needed for anything. I have food on the table, clothes on my back, the lights are on, I have an apartment. I'm thankful and grateful that me and my family are okay and everyone is okay. Like, I'm speaking for a lot of humans in general we may not be where we feel we should be but we are where we supposed to be you know what i mean hey i'm just another human who understand the human experience going through it but like i was saying we we went to school okay k through 12 a lot of us we did the college thing you owe a bunch of money to the damn college thing she go out look for jobs with the college thing ain't even adding up. So like, what did I do all that for? 
feel still gonna be like hard as hell, you know? I just wanted to say, like, even if you feel as though you have tried everything and you feel as though you have done all you can do, just keep going. Please do not give up, okay? Count your blessings. I was in the dining room just thinking like, I know I wanna talk about something, but what should I talk about? And that's what came to my mind. Just count your blessings. Count your blessings, okay? I'm thankful for waking up this morning. I'm thankful for the activities of my, I'm thankful for the activity of my limbs. I'm thankful for food to eat, water to drink. I'm thankful for wisdom. Um, I'm thankful for understanding. I'm thankful to be able to use the gifts that God gave me to spread positivity, joy, love, okay? But I know it can be rocky. I know it can feel as though it's just like this is what life's supposed to be but keep holding out because one yes from god can trump every single no that one is ever faced with because you're going to get a whole bunch of no's but all you need is that yes do what you can with what you have and know that you are loved okay because i love you all righty but yeah i just wanted to get on here and talk about some real life stuff and relatable information and just keep holding on i love you all so much okay and remember these words to meet you remember that you are loved you are loved and you are liked i love you stay beautiful okay <sighs> every person has beauty inside of them remember that never forget it all right y'all 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 be good out there okay peace gotta go Woo!